Big, strong, really tough. Yeah. This is That's Ben Cohen, good. a member of England's World Cup winning rugby union side in 2003. It was phenomenal. It was fantastic. It was, um, it was a hell of an atmosphere. And um, when, uh, when we'd gone into extra time and finally won the game, it was, it was something that um, you just can't, you can't describe. No one, no one sort of teaches you how to sort of celebrate when you win, except for, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it was fantastic. After a million cheering fans welcomed the team home, he was made a member of the Order of the British Empire, an honour bestowed on him by Queen Elizabeth. I had a bit of a moment when I met the Queen. I, I, you meant to sort of bow and you sort of meant to walk down this line, you turn, you bow, and she come, calls you forward. <laughs> I was so nervous. I walked down, turned, and, and just carried on walking. And then I realised, oh, I've got to bow, I've got to bow, I've got to bow. I was already out of the time, I'd messed up, and she just laughing. Having just been voted Player of the Year for the Sale Sharks, the 32-year-old sporting future seemed extremely bright, until he abruptly retired from rugby this month, saying the time was right for a new challenge. It's sort of been uh, on the back burner for about seven years, and it's something that uh, I'm going to put all my time into now. So what's the new challenge? Managing, coaching? Well, actually neither. Instead, Ben is fully focused on his stand-up foundation to combat homophobia and bullying. And that's why he's here in Atlanta just a few weeks after hanging up his boots.